What's up, everybody? Welcome. Hope everybody's enjoying this beautiful May 7th, 2021, friends. Sitting here in the studio tonight, I want to make a Cardano video. Man, those of you who know me know I love Cardano, dude. And you know that, uh, you know, it's one of my favorite tokens of all time, alongside Theta and T Fuel. Uh, you know, it's looking pretty good for us Cardano people, let me tell you. It's a buck sixty-two right now. Let's hop over to the page. So, uh, yeah, this is our price here today. Currently, Cardano. It was up to like a buck seventy-five, I think, earlier today. And uh, obviously, there's a little bit of sell-off going on here. But that's okay. You know what I mean? I, I'm happy to see it it uh, break that one thirty-five resistance that we were seeing there for a long time. Uh, you know, and just kind of climb up a little bit but not go super high not go crazy you know um i'm happy to see that so here on the latest news according to uh coinmarketcap.com check this out crypto analysis calls ada bitcoin price action beautiful says cardano can reach five bucks i believe that i believe that 100 here's two important reasons why cardano ada hit its all-time high today that was 21 hours ago Here's how high Cardano and Ethereum could soar, according to Coin Bureau. If you ever heard of Coin Bureau, this guy's pretty cool. He has a YouTube channel, Coin Bureau, and he's like super. Uh, he he knows his stuff. His videos are super informative. Um, I just love this dude's videos on YouTube. So if you haven't heard of him, go check him out. I think he has almost a million subscribers. But um, yeah, this guy's pretty neat. He's 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 pretty cool. So go check him out, Coin Bureau. You know, we got some more news here on the Cardano stuff going on. Here are some crucial levels to watch for Cardano and six emerging altcoins, according to crypto trader Mikiel Van de Pape. Hope I got that right. What else do we got? We got all kinds of news for Cardano. But, you know, friends, that's the thing. You know, we, we're we watching these prices go up. You know, we know they're doing stuff behind the scenes. You know, and then you got, you have, and I want to talk about this because I was talking about this with my good friend Nick, who's also a crypto enthusiast. And, uh, you know, we were talking about the Dogecoin pump a little bit, you know, and we both really feel like Dogecoin is going to be used to uh you know tarnish the crypto world because you know we honestly do believe it is a scam it's a it's a casino pump and dump classic um pump and dump and uh you know we're not experts or anything you know what i mean by any means but we've been in the crypto world for for a while now I, i've personally been doing it for over three years um he's a little longer than i have i think but uh getting back to dogecoin though you know we we're, we're very skeptical that it's being you it's going to be used to really tarnish the crypto world because we think a lot of people are going to lose money uh on this pump on on dogecoin people are going to make a lot of money too it's just one of those things you know that you really have to be mindful of what's going on behind the scenes you know what i mean with Elon Musk, with the Dogecoin, and, you know, it's a joke coin. There's nothing, you know, why don't I like Dogecoin? Because, I'll tell you why, because it can be made to infinity. You know, there's no limit on how many Dogecoins can be made. And so inflation is just going to happen. It's, you know, it's it's worthless. It was meant to be a joke. And it is a joke. It's funny. It's cool to see it go up. It's cool to see people make some money out. Just be very careful with it. That's my personal opinion with it. Because we don't want to see... What we don't want to see happen is... Um, we don't want to see decentralization in the crypto world get a black eye. From people losing everything. You know what I mean? Losing losing everything. Losing because they go all in on it. Because they think it's going to just explode. And then something happens. And guess what? Um, you know you're up creek without a paddle and like that's kind of like where we're at we're kind of scared to see that because that's what we think is going on you know but with like projects like cardano and uh theta you know they have they're they're solving real world problems you know what i mean like their their technology they've been working on um has, has 
it's it's meant to solve real world problems just like theta the data delivery um problem that we have in this country um cost wise internet delivery you know video stream it all stuff adds up you know and like this is they come up with a faster way to do it a cheaper way to do it and you know it's just solving real world problems so when you're looking at cryptos to invest in you know look at the project look what they're doing around the world you know uh charles hoskinson he's been over to africa he's secured a deal with africa and i was reading an article the other day i wish i could find it now i can't but um uh they were they were they're doing a lot in africa and it's a really awesome thing and i'm super super excited to see the development of the blockchain and what it can do especially in these countries in these in these uh countries that have a lot of poverty and you know have a lot of they're behind you know what i mean so i i'm super happy to see that so those are the type of projects i like to invest in you know because it is about it's more you know there there's there's the monetary gain of it and then there's the principle behind behind it you know and that's what's super important to me and that's what you know i think a lot of people in the crypto space are already about you know what i mean like everybody does it who doesn't like to make some gains right but you know when we step back and we look at the bigger picture of what cryptocurrency is and the blockchain and how it can benefit um us as a species you know um i really i really do believe in that future and you know because the way i see it and i've said this before and i'll say it again you know with the future we have two options we have centralization or we have decentralization you know and that's what we currently have right now is centralization it's a monetary system that um revolves around a private entity and that operates behind closed doors and that's just one example you know it's it's more than just our monetary system when we talk about um centralization and decentralization you know like what i was talking about the sia coin okay sia coin how i really think that it is it's the answer to the data storage problem because you know we currently go through these um you know these entities these centralized entities like google you know like the apple icloud and we're trusting these single centralized entities with all of our our data you know when we upload our data to the cloud whatever and that's and that's how SciaCoin is shaping the future through decentralization is by um bits and pieces encoded pieces of that data split up among many you know like it, nobody has access to all your stuff it's like decentralized and it's secure and it's safe and they've proven that you know if you want to check that out you can go do some research on SciCoin. it's just it's really about the future in in my opinion in in my book you know and i have a lot of faith in the crypto world like the people that i meet that are into cryptos like they're good people they want to you know they want to uh see the world in a better place than it currently is with a lot of our systems that we have set up through that are centralized and so that's what i really feel like it is and i feel like there's a lot of good people out there like i said i made the video about the first blood the other day and you know uh i really trusted this guy across seas like i just was like yeah man let's do it you know like there wasn't a doubt in my mind and uh he was honest he was he was he was honest you know and we went through the transaction totally private transaction with no banks involved and that's what i love to see that's that is the future i believe in you know like you you got to trust people sometimes like not everybody's out to screw you and but there are people out to screw you too so you you have to learn that discernment a little bit and you know i i don't think it's i don't think it's super difficult to do um when you sharpen your intuition and um you know follow follow your heart and stuff like follow your intuition and you know i don't think you'll be steered wrong and and that applies with investing in cryptos too you know like follow your intuition you know what i mean like do you really want to put money into something that's a joke like safe moon or do you want to put it into something that's going to help shape a future of decentralization and uh freedom you know and that and that's and that's those are my thoughts tonight my my crypto thoughts um like but then again i'm so i i just wanted to share to the also slow down for a second i get to 
spitting in the mic and I just go all over the place. Uh, but that's okay. You know, I, I was really excited to share this price with Cardano today. And um, some of the news, I know it's been a while since I've done a crypto video, but I haven't been following as much. You know, I, I've been doing a lot of the painting. I've been working and hanging out with Miley. So, I, you know, I got a lot of things going on, but I've been watching the prices, you know. I've been seeing what's going on. And, uh, you know, I'm watching the Cardano. I'm glad to see it broke that 135 resistance. Bitcoin's looking, it's looking secure. It's looking stable, in my opinion. You know, yeah, bounce down to 52, 53, whatever. No big deal. Like, people know Bitcoin's the future, you know. And Ethereum, absolutely. Like, awesome for the Ethereum people out there. I'm not a big Ethereum fan, but I'm not going to talk crap on it here. Um, for you out there holding it, I'm super happy for you guys and uh litecoin as well look at that 340 bucks just went up to 40 bucks 340 bucks that's awesome uh you know litecoin dude i remember when litecoin was like 20 bucks 25 bucks you know um which is just insane and uh a lot of good ones on here you know a lot of good ones theta 11 bucks 66 cents it broke 12 dollars this morning um uh, which i was happy to see and uh you know yeah, it's just awesome man I, I love to see i love to see theta i love to see theta in the green i really do and it's got a lot of big things coming check this out decentraland mana i don't know too much about this one but i know that it was in the very um short future or uh past it's not very long ago that this was like literally 12 cents um so theta fuel there you are 39 cents just hanging out at 39 cents so I don't, you know, I personally believe that one is the next one that's going to pop, I hope, you know, <laughs> well, nobody really knows. And, and, and speaking of which, by the way, uh, you know, I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a crypto enthusiast and uh, I like to talk about cryptos. So thank you so much, guys, for uh, tuning in this evening on this beautiful May 7th, 2021. And I'll see you guys on the next one.